Hi, uh, welcome to another tutorial. This one's carrying on from the other videos uh, about the stepper motors. I've been asked a couple of questions about this L298 um, stepper motor driver. As I say, these are about four or five pounds from eBay. Uh, you can see I'm driving this uh, smaller stepper motor, which is significantly different to this. Other than the size, let me turn this off. Actually, before I turn it off, I'll just show you what I'm running it off. So we've got four signals from the PIC microcontroller here. Uh, one phase of the stepper. You see the uh, red and green. You can't see it, can you? Uh, red and green, yellow and blue, and red and black off my power supply. Uh, as I said in the other video, I figured you could run this up to about 35 volts, which you can. I figured out that 5 volt regulator inside there. Yeah, let's see if I can get you in. This 5 volt regulator here uh, can take up to about 35 to 40 volts, depending on what the output is. So that's 35 to 40 volts. The L298 can be driven up to 46 volts. So as I say, this motor, this baby motor, only the, the winding is about 2.5 ohms per phase. So I've turned the voltage right down to reduce the current. This can handle, although it says it peaks about 4 amps, uh, normal running is about 2 amps. So what I'll do before I turn it all off, I'll show you the power supply. So you can see it's drawing at that speed um, 300 milliamps at 6 volts. So just to demonstrate. That's going, going into current limit. So now that's, yeah, that's, that's maxed out at 2 amps. This is only a 2 amp power supply. So you can see, it's, yeah, I'm trying to turn it over 20 volts, but that's over, to, well, 20 volts. It's drawn 2 amps, which is actually the maximum for the 298 driver. So that's why I've decided to turn it down. So we'll keep it, well, for this little motor, I'll just turn it down, I don't know, 6 or 7. Right, let me just turn this off. <coughs> so we've got the, uh, at the top there, I've got the uh, PIC microcontroller 67 uh, using four pins, port uh, B, naught to three, so we've got four wires, naught one, two, three, Nor one, two, three, and you'll remember from the other videos we drive ACBD. Um, the pick my controllers running off the four NICAS, you see that, uh, and this, this 298 is running off the power supply. So, I was asked a question about the five volts out. Uh, this regulator is used for this uh, bridge, yeah, dual full bridge driver, but. Uh, and, and it's linked with this little link down here. You do need this to drive that unless you're driving it from an external source. Uh, so you leave that link in place, um, but you can just run the motor, uh, 0 volts and, I don't know, 30 volts, depending on what, what you're driving. If it's a little motor like this, high speed, smaller motor, yeah, keep the voltage down to 10 or 12, or even less than that. If you're using these bigger motors, which is here, as you saw in the previous video, uh, this has got a coil resistance of 5.5 ohms each, so you can actually run this, run the uh, the driver happily at uh, 30 volts, and this will only draw sort of 0.1 of an amp at full speed. Uh, lots of torque. If you if you've got a big motor like this, and you've got the voltage down to 12 volts, if you try and demand any torque from this, you won't get it. Uh, it starts peaking and uh, flattening out. So. Yeah, driving one of these with high torque, you need a good 20 volts. Uh, I don't know why the, uh, they've got 12 volts on eBay, because it won't work, or not with high torque. So, just uh, a brief, brief rundown of what I showed you last time. Here you can focus. So there's the, oh, it's gone, 298. Got you all in focus there. 298, this is 46 volts, it says 4 amps, but 
Yeah, so running uh, or DC operating two amps. Uh, right, so we finished with that one. Let me. Uh, that's the wiring diagram as before. So yeah, up to about 35, 40 volts in, but yeah. I'll keep it around about 20. 20. 20 volts on a big motor will give you plenty of torque. Uh, so 20 volts in there, 5 volts out if you want to use it for your pick. 4 signals. And this is the code. Where's the. Uh... Right. I've shown you this is the timing intervals for the uh, stepper motor. Put you in there. Uh, you see the start, and I've just divided it up into twos, uh, just make it easier. So you see the uh, A's turning on there. Uh, A, C, B, D. But I've actually got two sequences in here. But what I've actually done, I've cut it down. Uh, cut it down to about 14. So from 14 uh, on the code here. It starts there, comes up to 14, and then I've just got it going in the loop, going back here. Now on this baby motor, right, so if I did, this is the beginning. So I've named the ports a variable. Uh, so there's A, B, C, D. Uh, I've called it half step. Right, this is the entire code for one direction. If you wanna change the direction of the motor, just swap. swap two wires, either these two or these two, and the motor will go the other direction. Uh, if you want both directions, you'll have to alter the code and just work it backwards. Hopefully you're in focus there. Well, this is a complete code, half step, and go to half step. So that's a complete code for half step uh, on all these sorts of step motors using the 298 driver. So you can see I start with high D, I'm pausing, get the picture back up. This smaller motor, uh, is because yes, smaller motor, lower resistance, uh, it wants a quicker signal. So I've reduced the time uh, and I'm using Microcode Studio Pick Basic Pro for this demonstration. Uh, one millisecond is actually, uh, it'll it give you a fairly fast rotation, but you can reduce it on this small motor to 500 microseconds, so pause US, 500 microseconds. And then you see it's turning on high A. Um, pause for another 500 microseconds, and then low D, and so on and so forth. That's the complete cycle. Uh, if you run that, put it in a loop, that will give you rotation in half step. Um, I think that's about it. Um, yes, that's the uh, pick microcontroller, so yeah, power, ground, and I'm using these four ports here, I'll be naught, one, two, and three, uh, and five volts into the pick. As I say, to reiterate, you don't need the five volts out, Let's see if we can get you in focus. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20 volts in, up to 35, uh, ground. This is 5 volts out for a microcontroller, should you wish to use it, but you don't have to use it. You can just do as I'm doing. Run the uh, microcontroller off from um, external, I guess. Actually, it doesn't like the uh, focusing because of this LED. I'll disconnect that. Yeah, 4.85 volts there, running that pick. See how much time we've got left. About one minute left. So yeah, I think that's about it. Hopefully it's clarified some uh, questions. Turn it back on. Uh, hope you found this video useful. Click like if you like it. Thank you very much.